Hey guys, welcome to another quick video on how to remove an iPad 2 antenna and for replacement or just because you want to have fun and try to figure stuff out. Anyways, here's a digitizer that I removed and I have also removed the screen, which is good. I just need to replace this antenna because it is not working, getting proper Wi Fi. And one of the reasons is because right here it is broken off and it's not attached to the rest of the case which makes uh, makes the antenna work better um, so we're gonna go ahead and, and I'll show you really quick this is the Wi-Fi antenna that was just here uh, a lot of times uh, what you just have to do is remove this screw here and remove these three screws right here if they're still attached after that you will see that there is attached right over here there's a ribbon that goes underneath but the antenna itself goes actually underneath the ribbon but you need to get to it so what you need to do is take this and gently pry it up as you can see I actually have this piece as well coming off already because I pried it up already on the sides here sorry you can see that there are little clips here that hold on to the rest of the board those were gently lifted as well and so now this whole thing comes up um, and there's the connection right underneath there there's a connection and now what we're going to do is flip this over and as you can see this part lifted the reason it lifted is because I already actually uh, was able to uh, remove it from the pins if you see the pins I was able to remove it from the pins if you see the pins right behind here right there and this right here is where the Wi-Fi antenna is connected to we're going to go ahead and continue and remove the Wi-Fi antenna now there's the Wi-Fi antenna all the way down there where it's connected see that now we have to pop this out to remove the Wi-Fi antenna now that I've detached the antenna I'm just going to pull it out through here there it goes and can actually pull it it's just attached with adhesive now as you can see it's right here it's actually attached with adhesive underneath so uh, you can have to grab the ribbon with your fingers or something a little bit bigger and then just pull out and it will, it will come loose and there you go that's what it was attached with uh, with adhesive so there it is the Wi-Fi antenna is gone now let's install a new one now this uh, little sticky part right here you can actually scrape off if you have a little scraper just try to scrape as much as you can off since the new Wi-Fi antenna actually comes with a sticky back already so you don't really need that there now I want you to notice this that it goes directly here back in its location with the screws aligned you will be able to tie this down oh, sorry. now as you see here you need to you can remove all this sticky um, foam that was there before it was with the old Wi-Fi card and then you can install a new one as you can see it matches perfectly and you have to make sure that these holes here match with the screws right here and of course this one here make sure that it fits in the right area so you can screw it down as well once you do that just run the antenna under here and under here where it was before so you can attach it to the board and you attach it to this part of the board right here this first one here the connector from there you can flip it over uh, and attach it to the pins which we're gonna do now it 
Sorry for the low lighting, but once you have your antenna attached, here you go, you can see it under there. You go ahead, make sure it's facing uh, this direction, basically. So it's it's going this way. That way it's easier to reach the areas you need to get to. So once you do that, you put this little board back in place. Press it into the corner there. And you gently push it down. So it makes a nice tight connection. There it goes, back in place. Now I can easily secure this cable back under here. It be, really doesn't have to be um, nice and and glued down like the other one was. It can just stay here underneath as much as possible. Once you get the screws in here and here, it will actually be underneath here. So you should be fine with that. Okay. Uh, so everything's in place now. It actually had a little piece of adhesive on this uh, ribbon. You can attach to the bottom of this. Once you do that, you just go ahead and make sure this is aligned properly. Press down and until you hear a click. And then this right here, same thing. You just gently make sure that you press it down and close in place. Here are little clicks. All right, so that's that let me see if i there's a piece of adhesive uh actually a piece of plastic here on top of the other piece that has the adhesive on there now i think you can leave it on there or just remove it yeah, it should work the same since everything's attached i just need to put these two little screws in before i'm done and we'll see how everything works all right so how's wi-fi working let's turn it on it's like picking everything up pretty good it's uh, currently working fine. Great. Full power. Fantastic. This iPad wasn't working fine at all earlier. It was actually at like a one bar. Even when we got close to it, the wireless router. Perfect. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Hopefully, this video was a little helpful. Have a good day.